Hey guys, how's it going? This is Gunwood Six Extreme, and I'm here today for Hero Taku to do a Common Rider Wizard review. And today marks the beginning of Wizard Mo oh, Wizard Week, a week-long review of all the Wizard roleplay toys that I personally own right now. And let's start it off with one I've been waiting on getting my hands on for a while. You're probably seeing me spin it right now. The Wizard Sword Gun. This is Wizard's standard issue sidearm. Has the typical hand right here, just like the one on here. And it just looks really, really good. It's got it's picked out looking just like the wizard driver. Got the nice chrome right here. And right here on the handle. Well actually, no, that's more that's just a kind of more of the uh, silver pink to make it look like chrome. Got the wizard hand right here. Now on the back, more of the chrome right around the blade, and more of that chrome like Bandai silver that looks really good. And then at the bottom, got a little bit of gold right down there. Now, uh, before I get into this, let me just quickly get into the two other items you get alongside the blade gun. And that is the Land and Hurricane Wizard Rings. These look beautiful. Uh, let me uh, get my autofocus. No, my autofocus. Why is my autofocus actually on? That's why things have been acting a little weird. Get my focus to focus in on the rings. There you go. The hurricane ring. Pull that up real quick. Very nice looking. Got a very beautiful emerald kind of a looking clear green jewel right there. Decked out in nice, 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 nice Bandai silver. You know, I should have actually brought the candy toy in for comparisons, but whatever. I'll do that on the, uh, I'll do that for the dragon rings. Bring down the visor. The upside down triangle shaped face is now complete. And then, of course, land. Nice topaz kind of jewel. I can't think of any other yellow gems besides topaz, really. Uh, sorry if my uh, if I'm awkward with how I'm holding. It. I'm looking at my screen, which is where my uh, which is where I see how I'm capturing everything. So yeah, let me turn on the wizard belt. Oh, well, let me fix my focus first. Turn on the wizard belt. And I'm going to start with Hurricane. And I'm getting my little chest of wizard rings. Let's do the kick strike. Next up, land. In the kick And for now, that's it for that. Let's focus more now on the blade gun, the main point of this review. So, turning it on, switch here. Get greeted with that nice little sound. In gun mode, you get these sound effects right here. And it just cycles through the colors. The nice thing about it, it fits perfectly in my hand. This is, the fir well, this is one of the first roleplay weapons that fits really snug, that fits really nice in my hand. I don't have to like futz with it and have my pinky down there. I can perfectly fit my hand in. Now, in all respect, the uh, 
handle should actually be about yay bit longer to be more show accurate in my hands, but in the little kid's hands, this is the perfect, this would be perfect. Excuse me if you heard the spray sound, that was my uh, air freshener going off. Anywho, uh, enough of blade mode, let's mean enough of gun mode, let's bring it into blade mode. Now, bringing that up actually doesn't initiate the transmission. I can still shoot. It's when you bring the blade up that now it's in blade mode and you get revealed more of that really nice looking chrome. And in blade mode you get these sounds. That sound right there, I want to say that comes from the Shinken Maru. It sounds like one of the sound effects of the Shinken Maru. I could be wrong, but it really does sound like a sound effect from the Shinken Maru. Now, uh, going back into gun mode real quick. Of course, that's that would be nice, but that's not enough really. You need finisher sounds. So, let's start with the gun mode finisher sounds. And I'll be using, for now, I'll just use the rings that it came with. The hurricane ring for gu for gun mode. Yeah. <clears throat> now, if you close the hand right there, it stops the it stops the jingle altogether. So make sure you don't close the hand. And <laughs> you get that. Each one of the element, each of the four element rings, will initiate that sound. Now, of course, going into its sword mode, let's go through that real quick. And that's pretty much it. Now, uh, if you want to, you can actually hold it backhanded just like Wizard does. It fits snug enough, and this actually is excuse me, this actually is comfortable enough to actually hold it backhand. And the blade is actually a very, very good size. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's good enough that it's about the size I want to say of a. I don't want to say it's the size of a Wakazashi, because that was the uh, Samurai Blade, and this is nowhere as long as the Samurai Mega Blade. But I want to say it's about a good... It's, it's about the size of an Otanto. That's what I'm looking for. It's about the size of an Otanto. Now, uh, excuse me for one second, I forgot one of the other rings. One that... There it is. Okay, now, there are a couple of other things... This does work, as you know, with some of the spell rings. Let me get one of the spell rings I have. This does work with other rings. Now, I'm not sure if uh, one of the certain rings I'm going to be using is show accurate, but anyway, here's the uh, blizzard ring from the from the uh, uh, water dragon set. I will get to this in a different review, but just for the sake of the, this review. gives you a generic sound. Then of course we have the decayed ring. Uh, I'll give you the sound of this one at the end of this review just as a bonus. Get the white light and a generic explosion. And then of course Here's this one. Yeah, if you hadn't seen my vlog, uh, spoiler on what's going to be showing up later on this week.
So these sound is programmed into this. And uh, again, I will get to that more in his review. Uh, it is programmed in here too, but I'm not. But again, I'll get to that in his review. So now, overall, can I recommend the Wizard Blade Gun? Hell yeah, I can recommend it. This thing, this thing is full of win right here. It is awesome. I look. It has really. It's really really good with its gimmicks. It's fully compatible with all of Wizard's rings. It has all the sounds actually. Let me give the kick strike ring a quick try. See what that does. Yep, even kick strike is in here. So it has pretty much the sound it's pretty much programmed in there for the sounds of all of Wizard's rings. So you can pretty much do everything Wizard does in the show with this thing. And it's just fun to twirl around because you can. So overall, pick this thing up if you can. I got it from Man I got it from Mandrake for I want to say I think it was two no it was three thousand yen. I think I probably overpaid a little bit, but I'm happy enough to get it because I got it bundled with all the other wizard gear from Umeda. So in the end, I saved some money still. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And like I said before, I'll give you a little bonus just to end this review off. So this is Gun Legacy Extreme signing off. And I'll see you all later, people.